We're one month down in 2024 and what can you design and 3D print in that time frame? But more importantly, how can you make it worth your while? I'm gonna show you five of the most useful things I've 3D printed this year and something you should definitely take on to get the most out of your 3D printer to solve everyday problems and feel like an artist. Now overall, I categorize 3D printing into two overarching purposes, problem solving and creative expression, plus everything in between. I'm gonna explain how each of today's prints fit into both of those categories, unlocking their true potential. Oh, and make sure you stick around for the full video because as these prints get trickier, they do get much more rewarding. For the first print, I'm gonna take something very familiar and add a touch of convenience to it. Now, I've seen all of these gaming controller stands online, which are very cool, but we're gonna print one of those as I take a rather different approach. A common problem for me is that I often have things all over my desk, ranging from work, project artifacts, and of course, gaming controllers. So for this design, I use Fusion 360 as I will for the remaining prints to hold my Xbox controller. I then added a support on the back, which slides onto my monitor stand and is secured in place. In this example, I've simply secured it with a cable tie. However, if you wanted to get a bit more creative, you could print the back section in TPU and tie it around the monitor. For a total printing time of 42 minutes and a cost of 74 cents to print, this will fit onto most monitor stands and I would say we've successfully implemented a solution to help maximize desk space. But doesn't that also just add such a neat customization to the monitor stand as well? Now the more you use your 3D printer, I can guarantee you'll need to be doing more maintenance using more tools and with that, things will go missing and it will get very frustrating. Now with maintenance being such a vital step in the 3D printing process, the problem we're going to be solving today is my tool literally going missing every single time I do maintenance. Personally for me, the main tools I use are cleaning needles to get rid of those annoying blockages and two different sized screwdrivers. As I started modeling these into Fusion 360, I thought of other main tools being tweezers, hex keys, a spatula, a few wrenches, and since I love my electronics projects, I decided to make room for a wire cutter. But as you can see from the 3D model, you can really modify this to fit whatever it is that you like. I then added in these sliding supports so it fits perfectly snug into my desk. Well, unlike the last print, this brought us up to six hours and costed us $8 in filament, but priceless to me knowing I can rest easy knowing all my necessary print tools constantly live in arm's reach. Okay, let's move into something a bit more creative. Now, I'm guilty of being one of those people who loves to snack at my desk while I'm eating work. And I'm just as guilty of not being bothered to get up and go and wash my hands when the seasonings are all over my hands. I'm talking chips and dip. So while this is a creative solution, it is still solving a major problem for me. Okay, not major, just a, a little problem. So back in the 3D modeling dimension, I designed a very simple bowl with two fitting twists. I added a chip dip compartment that extends up the bowl and a front mounting pad for sanitary wipes. The time for this print came in very close to the previous with seven and a half hours print time and a total of $11 filament used. And now I can easily snack on my favorite chips and dips while working and never having to worry about my finely seasoned hands dirtying all this expensive gear. Something else that I do a lot while sitting at my desk is reading and writing, and lately I've been learning how to sculpt in Blender, so even high level drawing has perked my interest. So this triggered me to work on something slightly more mechanical, so I could read, write, and also work at my desk while maintaining all of the space at the same time. Similar to the tools holder, I built a sliding base for my desk, but here's where the innovative touch comes in. I wanted a way that I could change between a position that's comfortable for writing and reading without complicating things too much. On the book reader itself, I designed a hinge to be able to rotate the reader between the two positions. Although this print looked big, after some optimizations in the slicer, I was able to get this print to only 8.5 hours and a total cost of $10 in filament. And with print 4 down, I would say that my setup is reaching a level of ultimate convenience, but now it's time to move on to easily one of my favorite prints of this video. A very common niche in the 3D printing world is plant aesthetics. Now this can range from pot plant holders all the way to self-watering devices in the most creative ways possible. Now most of us have these little pot plants that are often stuck around the house, but what if we could stack them in to a very neat location that looks also very sexy. So I'm gonna pull in some very simple electronics here and create my own pot plant water feature. Now I think this print could have been a standalone project on its own, but in effect, what I'm designing is a pattern tower that has a water reservoir at the bottom. Throughout the tower, there are four slots for my pot plants and half open water pipe that runs around the tower. And to avoid confusion now, this isn't a self-watering device with manual watering still being needed, but this water feature is more for show of the device. 
Now, I printed this in three separate segments for an enormous total print time of 22 hours and coincidentally $22 of filament use. But now I'm going to give us a few seconds to have a break from my voice and just enjoy the scenes of me assembling this build. And now that it's all assembled, let's go put it to the test. Powering on in three, two, one. <laughs> So to explain what's going on, inside this water reservoir that I showed in the model before, there's a submersible pump in here, which is pumping water up this tube, filling up this dome. There's a little outlet hole just underneath where my finger is here, causing water to slide down this little half open pipe and then drip into the water reservoir. I've had a bit of a leakage. I think I've filled it with a bit too much water. But yeah, you can probably buy this off Amazon for like $500,326.44 if you like, but or you can just get it on Patreon free engineering dads. You just need to print it yourself. Like it's the whole point of this video. Now well done on making it to the end of the five 3D prints. As a reward, all of the STL files for these prints will be made available on the free tier of our Patreon, which is linked in the description. However, please comment below if you would like to see a more detailed video on how I actually designed and built these prints all the way through to the final assembly. And now our journey doesn't end with some useful items that you can 3D print in 2024. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what the engineering dads has in store for 2024. And at the same time, you can go have a look at some of our videos that we did in 2023 on some of our projects that we're very proud of.